everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch and it's Monday, so that means it is Make Something Monday. Valentine's Day is over and now we have St. Patrick's Day coming up and I am not Irish and my husband is not Irish, but we do love to do a get together for St. Patrick's Day and do the corned beef and cabbage dinner and stuff like that. So I thought I would make a decoration for St. Patrick's Day. My hot glue is heating up. I have a styrofoam ball. I have a couple pieces of scrap green ribbon and my styrofoam ball is running away from me here. I have a bunch of white and green carnations from the dollar store. Um, I bought seven little bundles of them. I don't even think I'll need that many. I have these little shamrocks that are actually have little sticky backs to them. And this had to have been from one of the craft stores. I don't remember which. But it would have been either a Hobby Lobby or Michael's. So they have different sizes in there and I am going to use those because they seem to fit pretty well back to back. The first thing that I want to do is take an ice pick, a screwdriver, a pencil, whatever, and just kind of poke a hole in there into the top. And I'm going to take this ribbon tie a knot in it. Then I'm going to take the ribbon and you can make the ribbon as long as you want. Obviously it all depends on where you're wanting to hang it from. But I'm going to put it in like that. But first I'm going to throw a little hot glue in there. And the hot glue is going to melt the styrofoam just a little bit just so beware. I'm going to stick this in there, maybe, and then I'm going to throw a little bit of this fast drying super glue in there. Just so it really holds in place. So this is how it's going to hang. I have the hot glue on a lower setting and all I have to do is pick all these carnation heads right off of the stems. And I'm going to start right around the top here. I'm going to put a little hot glue on there and I'm actually going to stick these right into the styrofoam. And you can be as close or as far away from the next one as you want. You just want it to be really full. So around this top part I'm going to put four of them. So that's how it starts. And now I'm just going to keep going around. I got this far and I ran out of flowers. So I did a quick run to the Dollar Tree and I only had one stem left of these that didn't have glitter on the edges. So I had to buy two with glitter on the edges and you can kind of rub it off too a little bit if you don't like it. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to quick try to fill in with these remaining ones and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the other ones. Now once you get it done, kind of pick it up, spin it around and like I can see I have a hole here and there's some spots that aren't covered as well as I would like and that's where these are going to come in to play and I did the bottom as best I could but like I have a bare spot here but these are going to be fillers and I'm going to use the glittered ones around the whole thing so it's not like all of a sudden all I have is glittered ones on the bottom. So wherever there's a hole that needs a little bit of filling it's going to get one of these glittered carnations. Then fluff it up, pull off any of the hot glue strings that are still attached, and now you have this green carnation ball. But I want to do something a little extra to it. I have some more of this leftover ribbon which matches the top. 
And what I'm wanting to do is actually have it hanging from the bottom with the shamrocks. And this is kind of an optional thing for sure. But I'm going to tie a knot in one of the ends. And I'm going to try to find more or less the bottom from where we were before with the hanger. So I'm going to poke a hole in here. Just like we did before. And I'm going to take the hot glue, put it in the hole that I just made, and put this in with my ice pick. Again, you could use a screwdriver or whatever. There's a dab to cover it. And then you can put your flowers back around. And then the first thing we want to find out is, did we get it in the right spot? And it looks pretty good. So then I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to take my shamrocks, the medium and the small. And I'm going to take the one. Let's put this down here. I'm going to take the one and attach it to the ribbon. And I have the stem centered on the ribbon. I'm going to let that go, unpeel the other one. And I'm going to get this as close as I can to matching up with this one. Unlikely you'll get it perfect. Just do your best. And I'm going to do the very same with the little one. Now when I get this far and I have that little one on there, I want this to be the very end. And I don't want there to be any ribbon showing underneath this, so I'm going to trim it with my scissors. My awful scissors. Then I'll take the other half of the little shamrock, line it up as best I can, and there it is. It's that simple. So now you have these cute little shamrocks hanging from beneath it, and you have this one-of-a-kind St. Patrick's Day decoration. So I hope you try it, hope you like it, and we'll see you next time. Happy crafting. And I would love to know in the comments below what you guys do for St. Patrick's Day, if anything.